Hey everybody. After pretty much rewriting the whole code, I just released version 1.3 of Slipview. For those unaware, Slipview is my free Reaper script, which allows you to preview the full waveform of an item while slip editing. You can find the original release video going over its core functionality in the description. If you have Slipview already installed, you can update by clicking on Extensions, Repack, Synchronize Packages. The 1.3 update brings two major new features. The ability to snap to transients, as well as an easier method for setting the main shortcut. Let's have a look at transient snapping. First off, the transient snapping relies on Reaper's own transient detection. And its settings can be adjusted by using the Transient Detection Sensitivity Threshold Adjust action. Transient snapping can be activated in Slipview settings or toggled via a dedicated action. Once activated, Slipview will detect either the previous or next transient when dragging, depending on the direction you move the mouse. It's even shown as a gray marker. Once the transient gets close enough to the item's start, it will snap and Slipview will detect the next transient. Note that the required distance for snapping automatically adjusts based on the zoom level. Also note that every time Slipview snaps to a transient, it will update the preview item's relative position to the original item. And some smaller notes to transient snapping. You can toggle it on and off on the fly while slip editing. You can prevent snapping by either dragging the contents really fast or moving the mouse outside the boundaries of the preview items. You can activate the Show Transient Guides setting in order to calculate Reaper's transient guides for preview items, showing you snappable transients throughout the whole preview item. And both the main transient snap action as well as the transient guides action come with new toolbar icons. Next up is a new and easy way to configure Slipview's shortcut. Previously, the shortcut was defined by entering the VK code decimal values of the desired keys in Slipview settings. This is history now, thanks to the new dedicated shortcut action. When running it, you can simply press up to two keys on your keyboard, confirm and be done with it. Changing the shortcut also no longer requires a restart of the whole script. Last but not least, there have been quite a few updates of Slipview since its release. Here's a quick summary of the highlights that have been added. Slipview got toolbar icons for the main action, as well as toggling neighbor restriction and new track creation, allowing you to easily see the state of each. Previews will no longer be created if the mouse is not within the arrange window. Complete support for free item positioning, including neighbor restriction, was added. The same goes for complete support for fixed lanes. And an annoying bug that would disable auto crossfade was fixed. And that's it. Slipview is and will remain free. But I'm of course happy about every tip if you get it via Gumroad, link in the description. Feel free to also check out my other scripts. RenderBuddy, my one-click rendering solution for game audio and library SFX, as well as Table Tracker, which allows you to create a track structure in Reaper based on a CSV file. And that's it. So thanks and have a good one.